Uh, I mean, I really don't have any expectations. Um, I just feel like it's so fun and inspiring to meet all the other shooting stars because I find them very inspiring and you know just to hear them talk and how they resonate when it comes to 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 the acting craft it's just uh, really amazing my goal is to still I mean to be a happy person in the, first of all and then I would like to uh, to me it doesn't really matter what country and where I am as long as it's interesting characters and interesting stories I'm especially looking for uh, the female, interesting female narratives, and yeah, that's that's what finds me the most interesting. And the the the, the human, the the, the the difficulties of of being a human being. Yeah, that's a very. I have to think about how to answer this, but okay. So, I think it's a. It's very good because it creates the streaming services. They create a lot of work opportunities for many filmmakers, actresses, actress, scriptwriters. But I think that the process with the streaming services are very fast. So what actually comes out of it, it's not. But then, then again, you have some extraordinary um, TV shows, I mean like Succession and Euphoria, White Lotus, you have really good shows. But I feel like, yeah, it could, it could be a little bit of a threat, I think, because it's, it's, it's much more money in the streaming services. I think you're very right. I think they, you know, when everyone, when the streaming services are getting better and better, the, the, the other channels, channels, they also have to keep up with that. So I just think it's good if if Netflix and HBO and these type of streaming services produce a good series because that makes everyone good. I mean, I don't, they don't have to necessarily do... I mean, of course, it, if, you, if you look in the commercial industry and then, I mean, they do these Marvel type of, like, you know, this big movies. But I guess, I don't know what why they make... I don't know if they do make better movies than the Europe. I think I think I really what I like about European films and European shows it's it's very unique in one way. It's the, the stories are very unique. There's a lot of history to it. Um, it's political. Um, I mean, yeah, this is this is a very tough question because I like American filmmakers as well. I like the actors in America actually. Wow. I mean, first of all, all those women that you mentioned, they're, they're amazing and very cool, unique. So. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, but, uh, shit, I don't know. Sorry, maybe you can't say that word. Um, I, I mean, for me, I think it, it can always be better when it comes to the female narrative. First of all, I don't think that we do as much as female leads as much as we do male leads and when we put a female lead what uh, function does this character have is it a boring character or is it just like a, a like plot driven character or is it a the character that's driven the plot and you, you you put a female in the center and then you make like interesting male characters I think it you know <clears throat> and you know, another way to like sort of fake it is to put put the female character in, in, in the in the posters but then you see the movie it's like oh she had three scenes you know so I think we can always be better when it comes to to this to female in, in, in the films and TV shows.